What's the secret of Phil Foden and why is he the special one? He finally managed to become an important player in the main squad of Manchester City, and as we know, it's very difficult to break into Pep Guardiola's system, and it took Phil a lot of time to finally get this chance to shine and be in the first 11. This season, he is showing phenomenal form, and today, I want to analyze what makes Iniesta from Stockport a true gem of the Manchester club. His technique and game intelligence are very reminiscent of the playing style of the legendary Spaniard, and his talent was evident from a very young age. When he was four years old, Manchester City scouts actively began working to lure the young talent from Stockport to their side as they knew that Manchester United were also waiting for the right moment for him to grow in their club's system. Moreover, Phil's brother and father were fans of the Red Devils, so their concerns were logical. However, Phil's mother, who was the only one in the family supporting Man City, had a very strong influence on him, and this love for citizens eventually transferred to Phil himself. When he joined the club's academy, his progress on the field amazed everyone with each passing year, and when Pep Guardiola came to watch the Academy game in 2016, he was shocked by Phil's performance. He was immediately invited to train with the first team, and a year later, he played his debut match for the main team, and it happened in the Champions League match against Feyenoord. From that moment on, Pep began gradually giving him playing time and never ceased to be amazed by his talent and abilities on the pitch. He was also confident that Phil was the club's future and could very well become its legend. Foden himself was only too happy happy to work with Guardiola, and wanted to become his player to the maximum, as he trusted Pep's process. Moreover, Phil's mentality is remarkable, as when Vincent Kompany invited him to a party to celebrate their Premier League victory, he declined and instead went fishing with his father. In addition to this, he is a true professional and approaches training responsibly. With each passing year, his game on the pitch showed that he could eventually become an important player in the core team, but for many years, he failed to secure a solid place in the starting lineup. The whole problem lies in two aspects. First, intense competition. Second, Phil himself didn't have a clear position. Guardiola praised the Englishman for his versatility and saw him as the perfect player to strengthen the team from the bench, but it was clear that there would come a time when he would need to decide where he would play 100% of the time. Everyone said that Foden wasn't particularly goal-oriented, and it's understandable because Pep demands his wingers to play deep on the flanks, as he requires them to hold their line deep to provide space for Erling Haaland and midfielders, but because of this, Phil's best abilities were limited. With an excellent left-footed shot and phenomenal dribbling, which is not typical for English players, he always played a supporting role, as playing differently in Pep's tactical plans is almost impossible. Thankfully, this season he finally could break in and manage to become an important player in the starting lineup, scoring 22 goals and providing 10 assists in 45 matches this season. But what qualities make Foden considered a phenomenal player, and why does Pep continue to admire him even after so many years? It's because of his exceptional first touch, delicate ball control, balance, and ability to improvise on the pitch. As I mentioned earlier, Phil Foden is not a classic English player. He possesses qualities inherent in players from Spain and Portugal. His composure is striking, his versatility and creative thinking make him a dangerous player not only for Man City but also for the England national team. This season, due to Kevin De Bruyne's absence due to injury, Pep changed his position again, and there he was able to fully express himself, ranking 7th in the team for assists and second in the same category among attacking players. When Foden is on the pitch, he influences the team's game as much as the Belgian, and with Pep's trust, he proves why he is the team's most important player at the moment and for years to come. His experience playing as a deep winger greatly helps him in accelerating attacks with his delicate long passes, catching opponents off guard in defense, and finding free zones for his teammates to run into. Wherever he receives the ball, he strives to make a pass that will impact the development of the attack, and his his dribbling actively contributes to this. He controls the ball excellently at any pace of the game, and his balance allows him to change the tempo of the game. But the most important thing is that he understands perfectly when to dribble, when to pass, and when to use his speed to escape from opponents. Also, what unites him with Spanish midfielders is his instant pitch scanning. Upon receiving the ball, he already knows how many players are behind him and where to lead the ball, making his decision-making much more appropriate, like his ability to stretch the opponent's defense defense and give the attacker a chance to enter the free zone to receive the ball and finish the attack. Guardiola also values him for his off-the-ball play and counter-pressing. In recent years, he has also improved his finishing, especially after his transition to a new position, often scoring goals by making runs from deep or using his left foot on the right flank from where he prefers to shoot. Foden possesses that rare balance of incredible talent and hard work, which, as we see, will surely help him inscribe his name in the history 
not only of the club and national team, but also of the entire football world. Also, working with Guardiola has given him a better tactical understanding of the game, which he maximizes. This is what makes the star from Stockport such a special player who will achieve incredible heights wherever he plays. It's also important to note how Phil conducts himself off the pitch and how he spends his free time. He has never been involved in scandals, doesn't attend loud parties, and generally leads a quiet family life, which is very unusual for English footballers. Instead of going to parties, he prefers to go fishing with his family and dreams that one day he'll be able to do it with his idol, Lionel Messi. In addition to this, he's very good at darts and is the best not only in the club but also in the national team. This explains his focus on goal scoring, especially outside the penalty area, but most importantly it's his family and son. He became a father at 17, and as he himself believes, it helped him focus on success in football and not get distracted by unnecessary parties, always being there for his family, as they help him focus on what really matters. Pep Guardiola also noted that off the pitch, he remains a professional, and players with such mentality at such a young age are very rare. Generally, professionalism is cultivated in Manchester City's academy, as we can see in many players who have come through it. Jeremy Frimpong, Brahim Diaz, Cole Palmer, and many others. There are, of course, exceptions to the rule like Jadon Sancho, but there can always be glitches in systems. If you're interested, you can watch my video about Manchester City Academy players who have become stars elsewhere, learn more about them and why their academy is one of the best in England. Also, Phil's incredible progress demonstrates how subtly and skillfully Guardiola knows how to work with the young talents of the club who possess the right mentality and desire to improve their game in all aspects. It's not often that they will be given the opportunity to work with a manager who has already etched his name in football history as one of the best in his field, and Phil, like many young City players, greatly appreciates this and wants to spend at least a little time in training under his guidance and then play their first minutes on the pitch under his management. This also demonstrates that their philosophy toward young players works perfectly, providing good examples that patience, hard work, and the right mentality regarding their own progress yield results in the future. Even if you decide to leave the academy, you will still showcase what they have instilled in you. In the conclusion, I want to say that I hope that there will be more and more players like Phil Foden, Bukayo Saka, Jude Bellingham, and Cole Palmer, not only in English football but also around the world because watching them play is a joy, and they reveal all the beauty of the number one game in the world and I wish them to continue progressing and delighting us with their game. But what do you think makes Phil Foden an incredible player on the pitch? I'd love to read your opinion in the comments. In the meantime, don't forget to subscribe to the channel. I highly recommend you to watch my other videos on the channel, as you can see on your screen. My name is Olay, love this game. I'll see you next time.